But Jake, you want to get your first reaction to that, really? You seem to completely dominate that. Whew, dominated that, bro. He was scared. He's timid. Uh, that's bad. It's bad for his mental. I can see, I can see him breaking down. Um, <clears throat> not to get too overconfident, you know. I was talking with my brother after. He's like, you crushed that. That's good. Don't be overconfident. Train like he's the best fighter in the world, which is how I'm taking it, taking it and looking at it. Uh, but yeah, like just bad, embarrassing for him. He's not ready. He's not on this stage. He's not on this level. Uh, he, he, he doesn't know what it takes to be at this level. And he's getting thrown into this big, huge event. Now all of a sudden where he has to be a star and he's not used to it. I think that's going to translate into the fight. And I think that's going to be another one of the reasons, besides me being bigger, faster, stronger, better looking, that he loses. Did you kind of want a little bit more from him in that press conference? You disappointed? <sighs> yeah, like, cause, cause I, I feed off of energy. So if he's giving me energy, then I give energy. Uh, he just wanted to talk about views. Quite frankly, I'm not a fucking YouTuber anymore. I don't, I don't post. And that's all he wanted to talk about was like, my video got more likes than yours and all this shit. And it's like, bro, cause my fans don't care. My fans don't care about you. They don't know who you are. This isn't exciting for them. Come, come when I fight KSI, my fans are going to be riled up and the whole, the whole world is going to be riled up. But right now we have to tell the world who he is to get them excited about me fighting him. Um, so yeah, I wish, I wish he would have brought a little bit more. Do you still kind of see him very much as like a, a stepping stone into the ultimate goal in KSI? 100%. Yeah, 100%. That, and that's what it felt like today. E even more so, it was just like, you know, I'm, I'm, he's a doormat, I'm wiping my shoes, and, you know, I'm, I'm making sure that I put on a show because I want a good, exciting fight. I want my price to go up, okay? I want to get that KO. I'm not, I'm not looking past it. So uh, there's that, but eventually I'm going to fight KSI. That's, that's what people want to see. Just really, how's the training been going for you so far in Big Bear? Amazing. Uh, if the fight was tomorrow, I'd be ready. Uh, the Big Bear altitude makes it twice as hard. High elevation. Training with Sugar Shane Mosley, BJ Flores. Uh, we just have an amazing camp going on. Amazing energy. No distractions. Focused in on boxing. And I'm just getting exponentially better each session. Uh, you get into this energy. You get into this rhythm. You get into this flow. And my cardio is already ready. So it's not even about that. It's more so just about honing in on the technique. Brother Logan, obviously he's been there, done that, made the pro debut. What advice is he kind of giving you in, in turning pro and also like kind of training? Yeah, he's just saying like, yo, like train like this is the hardest fight uh, that you will ever have. And don't look past it and don't underestimate. Uh, he gave me an example just now where he's talking about like one of the Roman gods would walk through the streets and all of the people in, in Rome would look at him and be like, oh, we love you, we love you, we love you. And he hired a servant to stand next to him and be like, you're just a regular guy, you're just a regular guy, you're just a regular dude, so that he wouldn't get an ego and build that. So uh, that's, what it, that's what it is for me, is just remaining humble and knowing that any competition is good competition.